Okay, people, it is the first Q&A, and I'm excited to see what you want to ask me, so roll the intro, and let's get started. Shank asks, Sam, when will you be doing another vid with Seam Through Glass? So Seam Through Glass, Sam is a guy I did this video with, click there for the link, and I'll be doing another video with him either when I'm in London or if he comes to Monaco, or in this summer. What is your dream car? My dream car is going to have to be a Pagani Zonda 760. It always has been and it always will be. I love that thing. What do you study in where? Question mark. As some of you may know, I've actually stopped studying. I used to study in Spain. I studied business at IE University, but I stopped this December because I wanted to concentrate on my car stuff and I might go back next year. I'm not entirely sure. I'm sort of taking a gap year, which may turn into a gap life. What do you do for a living? Question mark. Hashtag ask Seb. What I do for a living, I don't do anything specific. I do lots of different things um, that I love doing in the car industry. So anywhere from providing hospitality uh, during events to selling cars. I'm an advisor, so I work on a commission base where I would find or, or sell cars to people. And then I do lots of different things online and, and, and there's not one thing I would say I do, but I work for myself doing different things. What's your favorite McDonald's food? Question mark and cool fries emoji. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I actually don't eat the McDonald's burgers. I only get, so I get nine nuggets usually with the fries and water and that's it. That's my standard McDonald's meal. Are you gonna come London spotting one day? I have never been spotting in London. I've been to London loads of times but I've never been spotting there. So yes, I am definitely gonna come at some point. I can't tell you when, but I am definitely gonna come to London specifically to go car spotting once. What road trips are you doing in 2015? Question mark. Ooh, road trips. So I love road trips and uh, I'll be doing a few this year. Um, the main one being the Shmi tour that I'll be doing with Shmi 150, a friend and fellow YouTuber. That will be in April. More details will be coming out soon, but I'm really, really looking forward to that. Do you want sex with me? Wh what? Really? Often get kicked out of garages. I actually don't go car spotting that much in garages, so garage spotting, uh, but I have been kicked out in the past. I'd say the last time was maybe a year ago, but you know, if I can see that it's obviously a private garage, I usually just don't go in it and respect the owners. So, no, not really. What's your real name? I don't have a fake name, so my real name is Seb Delaney, well, Sebastian Delaney, um, but yeah. It's my real name. Best car spot ever! Do you mean my best car spot ever, or like the best car spot in the whole of human car spotting? Um, I, I don't know what the one in car spotting would be, but mine would maybe have to be seeing a Pagani Zonda 760LH, Lewis Hamilton's Pagani Zonda. Um, I was with Tim Schumann 150 and we were just driving up and we saw it drive by and uh, I didn't actually get a photo or video or anything, but uh, that's definitely the best car I've spotted. Okay, so. But which car are you mostly excited to see at Geneva? Question mark, smiley face. So Geneva, I actually booked my tickets yesterday. Um, I'm really excited I'm going on the 4th for the second press day. So if any of you are going to be there, come say hi. But I am mostly excited. I'm really excited about the Porsche Cayman GT4. Um, that's like right on my street and I really want to see that. But I'm also obviously excited for the 48 GTB, McLaren 675LT. I'm excited to see that. Um, what else will there be? I'm excited to see the Ford GT, hopefully, if they'll have it there in person. But yeah, no, there's a bunch of things. It's going to be a good show, and uh, I'll make sure to film it for you. How old are you, and what do you do? Question mark and awkward smiley face. How old am I? I'm 18, and what do I do? Already answered that. Have you still got your YouTube channel? Um, I don't know how I could explain this to you uh, simply, but if you're watching this, I obviously still have a YouTube channel. What's your current phone background? Creepy question mark. Where's my phone? Oh, it's my pocket. My current phone background is, oh wait, let me unlock it and get the stuff off. My parents, I don't know if you can see that, it's my mum and my dad. And it's been that for the last like two years or something, so yeah, good question though. What's your fave country for cars? Ah, made it even more precise. As in German cars, Italian, British, etc. Favorite type of car, I'd have to say, I like a good Porsche, but it's gonna have to be Italian. I love Lamborghini, Ferrari, Pagani, all of that. So I'm gonna go with Italian that one. Oh, this is a long one. All right, let's get it started. Here's a few questions I have. One, how do you manage to film while in college? I know sometimes like blah, 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 blah. that's fairly simple really. Um, not in college anymore. When I was there though, it was quite tricky. That's why the video sort of stopped at one point. Two, what plans do you have in terms of cars after the Renault Twizy? Um, so the Renault Twizy, I actually also have a Mercedes C-Class. I don't know if you guys have seen that in my vlogs. But uh, but I, I don't know yet. That's not in the near future. That's going to come in, in at least a year's time or something. So um, I don't know. Three. How is it like switching from Monaco to Segovia? That's a really good question um, because I was actually in university. So IE University was in a little village called Segovia. And now so I switched from Segovia to there actually. But it was it was really weird. It was a real experience, um, you know, going from a place like Monaco to a little place like Segovia. I'd done it before when I was at boarding school in Wales. But no, it was nice. It was nice to see a different part of the world. And it's definitely a beautiful city and that was city village and i just really enjoyed going there yeah. four 
Tell us more about your EDM life. It's pretty cool that you've also done some DJing. So I don't really have an EDM life. Um, I've done a couple of uh, DJ gigs and uh, festivals and stuff which I enjoyed, but it's nothing really serious. It's something I do sometimes just for fun. I don't have my own music or anything, but you guys seem to like it, so I might I might keep doing some of that, I'm not sure. The next couple of questions are quite irrelevant and are for humor, although it could be great if you could answer them anyway. Oh boy. Five. How have you become such a handsome young man? I ate my greens. Six. Are you single? Yes, I am. Shut up. Ooh, look at this familiar face. It's Benjamin Green. He's done some videos with me in the past. Favorite Porsche 911 variant? Uh, that would be between the GTS and the GT3. Hands down, those are my two foo. <laughs> my two foo? My two true favorite Porsche 911s. P1, 918, LaFerrari. P1, it's gonna have to be for me, followed by the 918, and then last, LaFerrari. Own one, drive one, destroy one. Own one, Pagani is on the 760. Drive one, uh, Ferrari 250 GTO. Destroy one, Volkswagen Beetle. Why it's okay? Someone's a little bit sassy. Um, I'm not gay, but if you have a problem with homosexuals, then uh, Hey Seb, hope you're well. My question is, What's the best car you spotted in Monaco? Cheers, Luke. I've already answered that, so I'll give the second best car I spotted in Monaco. That's the uh, Gambala Tune Ferrari Enzo, the MIG U1. Uh, that's probably second best. What's one of your favorite experiences? One of my favorite experiences? That's a really good question. Uh, I'm gonna have to say, I know it's cheesy, but I'm gonna have to say when I every time I see one of you guys, because every time I put one of these videos out, you see like numbers and stuff, but it doesn't mean much to you. But every time I actually meet one of you and we talk about the videos and we talk about the car world, like that's incredible for me and there's not much I like more than that. So that's gonna have to that's gonna have to be it. Been to the waxing salon once? Question mark. Ooh. This is slightly awkward. I have actually been to a waxing salon once, but it's not it's not what it sounds like. It was uh, my old school there was this thing where every year um, two guys of each house, because it was a boarding school, got picked to have to dress up as a woman and it was a very very serious thing so obviously all the guys had to get waxed and it sort of was a thing that if you were picked you didn't have a choice and I got picked so I went with my good friends to a waxing salon and we had everything everything waxed and it wasn't a good experience. Are you wearing trousers? Nope! Weren't expecting that were you? Are you gonna come spotting in London this year or visit any car events in the UK? Question mark, Seamus Bug. Yes, so I will be coming to London and I want to do some events, maybe Goodwood this year or something else in, in the UK. I love these all these supercar runs that they're having. I see it on YouTube, those look really fun. So maybe one of those, I'm not entirely sure, but definitely coming to the UK, yeah. Are you really a guy? Yes, no, I am genuinely a guy. I am on the male gender, I can confirm that. Moving on. Right guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for the first uh, Ask Seb q and I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you did. Um, if I answered your questions, then thank you. If I couldn't, I'll be doing a vlog where I'll be answering more of the questions. Um, I just didn't want this to get too long. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, please comment, like, share, subscribe. You know what to do, guys. And uh, thank you so much. I will see you Saturday for the weekly video and next week for a new video. It's a spider render and it's basically just doing what they did to the 458 Italia to the 488 GTQ, which is probably... I, I have a confession to make. Yes. I'm oh, listening. Um, I've got...